Hi everyone, this is Mom Loves AG Dolls too, and I wanted to show a project that I made back in April, but sadly I lost my camera with my memory card and did not get to upload it. But this is what I made. It is a small hot air balloon. I wanted to make one for the 18 inch dolls, but we couldn't find any of the items, so I decided, okay, let's try one for the mini dolls. And I was inspired by uh, K Collect and of course the Sage hot air balloon. And I also saw when I watched Kay Collect's video that people were entering a hot air balloon contest. But I didn't get to enter because, um, like I said, I lost it. So here it is. And I think it's really cute. And I got all these items at the Dollar Tree where everything's a dollar. So I'm going to go ahead and start at the top and let you know what I got. And then at the end, I'm going to try to post some pictures so you can actually see the items. This item here is actually a hummingbird feeder. It's a clear um, item that looks like a, a like a light bulb. I was going to say balloon, but it looks like a light bulb shape. And uh, just excuse my phone, I can't reach it to turn it off. And then it has um, a ring going around here and it's got four spots where the birds stand and they can uh, suck on the nectar. And then what I did was I used for the covering a what, is it, what are these things called? Uh, a windsock, that's what it's called. But you can use a flag as well, which they have. And what I did was I just wrapped it around, put a little rubber band on it, cut it to size, and then I sewed it with just a simple in and out um, with the thread just going in and out. Sorry, I'm getting distracted by the phone. Um, anyhow, let me move along. And then here I got two garden trellises, and I cut the the wires from it, the longest wires on each edge. So I needed four of them, which is why I bought two. And then I covered it with a dog chew toy. And the wires we did it, we cut it with the wire wire cl uh, clippers. My husband lent that to us. And the dog chew toy is just one of those uh, nylon rope ones that they have, and it's very thick. It comes with like four of these strings stuck together. But I actually only needed one to cover each of the wires because the wire is so thin. So I just cut them up and um, did that and just rolled it around. And what I did at the top was I just knotted it to each of the little uh, parts that the birds stand on. And then I rolled it around in like a spiral motion to cover the wire. And then this is part of the windsock. And what I did with that was I just tied it to the bottom, just made a little knot. And I probably could have cut this shorter, but I didn't. And um, it just makes it look like the uh, ropes that they use to hold the, the hot air balloon when it's coming down. And then I used another one of the longest strings that I had and made a knot on it to cover the basket. And the basket is an actual nylon basket. I could not find a wooden basket that seemed to be the right shape and size. And this cute little basket actually comes as a double pack. So you get two for a dollar. Then the bottom is four little stoppers that I use that are actually not stoppers at all. They belong to the hummingbird feeder and that's like a little daisy flower where the birds land and they can suck the nectar right from the little flowers. So that's my attempt at a little hot air balloon and I'm going to try to take out Rochelle and this guy here. He's the uh, Create a Monster Gargoyle. I'm going to try to take him out so I can show you the bottom of it so you can get a better idea of what the uh, hummingbird feeder looks like along with the bottom of the basket. Now the hummingbird feeder looks like that on the bottom. It's kind of round and I just took off the stickers. And the basket has the little flowers and then what I did was I put tape on the bottom so that the edges wouldn't be so sharp. I didn't do a great job with the tape, but my daughter plays real carefully with it. So since she's 10, she knows how to handle it because this is pretty flimsy and it falls off a lot because the uh, wire is not like um, tied or sewn to anything. What I do is the little knots that I made, I use that to actually hide the top of the wire and I try to like put it right through the knot. And that kind of makes it so that it doesn't poke right out of the balloon, um, you know, cover here. So there's my attempt at a hot air balloon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.